always felt misunderstood, very, very, very low self-esteem, horrible body image, and ended up getting to the point where I walked into my house, grabbed my little brother's prescription medication, and took a bottle of pills, wrote two suicide notes, one to my school and one to my parents, and put my earphones in and fell asleep on the bathroom floor. I remember my dad banging on the door, and then he broke the door, grabbed me from the bathroom, and dragged me out. And I would have never been here speaking to you about this story right now if I wouldn't have felt that consumption of grief, of embarrassment, of pain. Because I don't think enough people are encouraging women, men, human beings to feel. We're just supposed to be living the best life we could possibly live and to be posting those moments and to be talking about those moments, but vulnerability is strength. When I admitted a weakness, when I leaned into a vulnerability, I realized that that took more strength and more power than I had ever had to exhibit in my life. I just want you guys to realize that like probably 90% of the room deals with anxiety and most of you guys feel like you're in it alone. Lean into it, even if you're shaking, even if you're crying, because not only will you gain perspective, but I promise you, someone else is gonna get something out of what you have been through. Giving yourself permission to feel these things makes you strong, makes you powerful.